Greetings one and all, this is Rhythmworks and welcome to my channel and the day after, the day before, um, the day after the release of Grand Theft Auto, as you can see, Rockstar Games is going into overdrive, it's everywhere, every freaking where, so they're doing their hard work and I'm going to do something different, I'm not really going to put up no gameplay because millions of other people are doing it already, as we all know the game is freaking awesome, it's an awesome game with a whole lot more in its back pocket, now I'm going to go into some features from the sublime to the absolute ridiculous. Okay, first of all, um, there's a feature in MSN and also the Metro newspaper stating that GTA 5 is to cause inordinate amount of sick days. Now, this was a straw poll held by the newspaper Metro where they interviewed 11,000 gamers asking them, are they going to take any sick days to play the game? And... Um, 19% basically said yes but obviously you know it's going to be a whole lot more it's not it's not a real surprise at the end of the day that a whole lot of sick days is going to be taken you know with the whole call of duty madness as well you know but now it's like you know people are basically tuning into what is going on in gaming in such a big way because this game you know is definitely contender for game of the year if not the game of the year for the ps3 before we move on to the ps4 but um yeah in the straw poll 11,000, 20, more or less 90% basically said, yep, they're going to take sick days. But it's going to be a whole lot more because nobody's going to really openly admit to wanting to take off days off work to play a computer game to an absolute stranger with a clipboard who you don't even know if they're basically secretly filming your ass because you can lose your job over that shit. So, you know, secretly, I think there's going to be a whole lot more people basically taking sick days. And look at the dudes in the queue, man. They just... <laughs> They look like they want to rob him. Speaking of which, and now to the absolute ridiculous. A Grand Theft Auto 5 fan was stabbed and robbed of his game after queuing for one of the first copies. Now, this happened at uh, Asda store in Collindale, North London. Now, I'm not averse to stupid shit. Everyone has done some stupid shit at some point in their lives. But from a gaming perspective, this has got to be one of the most dumbest pieces of fucking stupidity ever witnessed, per se in the gaming fraternity in relation to a triple a title you mean 40 pound 40 pound but you want to justify it by basically robbing him of his phone and his watch as well that's some stupid stupid shit so there's somebody with either an xbox version or a ps3 version of grand theft auto 5 who's playing the game as the proceed of him robbing someone nearly killing him just to play Grand Theft Auto 5 you stupid stupid chopid fucking idiot well that's all I got from the Grand Theft Auto 5 from um, whatever you do happy gaming and please don't stab nobody if you're gonna stab anybody just stab them in the game man it's only polygons you know what I mean all right I'm out of here peace